How expert! Top 10 fun facts about hyenas. How expert publishes quick how to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert top 10 fun facts about hyenas. Number 10. There are four types of hyenas. Even though they're given the broad term of hyena, they are not all the same. The spotted hyena, the brown hyena, the striped hyena, and the aardwolf are all part of the hyenidae family. Some organizations won't classify aardwolf as a hyena, but it is still part of the family. Sort of like that cousin that's always hanging around. It's also the only species alive to be known as a dog-like hyena. Another difference is how big each of them are. Number 9. The four hyenas are all different sizes. The spotted hyena is by far the largest as it can reach up to 65 inches in full body length and it can weigh up to 120 pounds. Then comes the brown hyena which is slightly smaller having a body length up to 63 inches. The striped hyena comes in third with the yard wolf being the smallest of the bunch. This is important to note since it could be easy to mistake the striped with the yard wolf since they both have striped coats. Number 8. Spotted hyenas live in clans. It's a tough world out there, and it's always best to have friends watching your back. And an animal that knows this all too well are the spotted hyenas. With clans that can range from a few members to dozens, these members make sure to protect their territory and to look out for each other. Inside the clan, there's also a social hierarchy, with some members having more power than others. High-ranking members of the clan have so much power that their offspring are automatically higher on the totem pole than some adult hyenas. Number 7. Spotted hyena clans have a matriarchy. This means that the female hyenas rule over the males. According to a Harvard blog written by Lorena Lyon, even the female's offspring has more power than some of the males. Leon also explains that when it comes to feeding, the females higher on the totem pole will get to eat. Then their offspring will have a chance to feast, followed by everybody else. Spotted hyenas are the only hyenas to have a matriarchy, with the brown species having an alpha male and a female in each clan. Aardwolves and striped hyenas don't even have clans, with the former living with a partner and their offspring, and striped hyenas usually live in pairs. Number 6. Hyenas eat different kinds of food. The aardwolf doesn't hunt or scavenge at all, and it mostly eats termites. Both the brown and striped hyena scavenge, but they are capable of hunting for their own food. The spotted hyena is interesting, because depending on what country they are in, they can be mainly hunters or scavengers. Their choice of prey also depends on where they are. In some places, they mostly feed on wildebeests and zebras, but they are known to eat on small elephants, rhinos, and giraffes. That's that's interesting to note due to the fact that in TV shows and movies they are usually shown as cowardly. Number 5. Spotted hyenas only need a small amount of water to sustain themselves. It's the only hyena to do this. In fact, striped hyenas have to drink a ton of water to keep themselves sustained while the spotted hyena can go days without it. A good reason why they might be is because they mostly live in the desert areas where the water might not be as accessible. When they do need to drink water, they will quickly do it at night for less than a minute and then they'll be on their way. Number 4. Spotted Hyenas are known as the Laughing Hyenas. Hyenas in pop culture are always shown to be laughing and it's become synonymous with their name. What's interesting is that the spotted hyena are the ones that laugh the most. The laughter is used to communicate between themselves. It does serve a purpose and they don't just do it to scare humans. Striped hyenas also make this noise to communicate, but not as much as the spotted ones. The large wolf and the brown hyena don't laugh at all. These animals usually just growl to communicate. Number 3. 
The laughter of hyenas isn't laughter at all, but a complex way of communication between each other. According to a paper presented by Professor Frederick Theonusen, Professor Steve Glickman, and by Susan Page, there are different types of laughter meant for different occasions. They explain that when hyenas do a hoot laugh, that is meant to express discomfort or distress. When a spotted hyena does a whooping laugh, it's to let other members of their clan know where they are. What's interesting interesting is the paper says that each hyena has their own specific whoop, so their clan knows exactly who is calling out. Number 2. The brown hyena and the striped hyena are considered near threatened. It's not known how many brown hyenas, but it's estimated to be less than 10,000 in the world left. The striped hyena is in the same boat with its population sitting in the same range, and unfortunately it is still declining. The large wolf is put into the least concerned section, meaning that they are doing just fine for the time being. And while the spotted hyena seems to have a decent population, with estimations putting them near the 30,000 range, they are still declining. A big problem for the hyena is habitat loss. They are not completely in the red zone yet, but if things keep going in this direction, hyenas will be in serious trouble. And number one, there is a man in Ethiopia who has a special relationship with hyenas. In Harar, a man named Abbas Yusuf is also referenced as the Hyena Man. He feeds them scraps of foods and has plenty of rapport with them. He can be around them in a way that no other human is allowed. In a National Geographic article written by Alexandria Genova, it was reported that he was even allowed back into the den of these hyenas. Not only that, but there were cubs within the den. This signifies that the animals had so much trust for Abbas that they were willing to expose their their babies to him. This type of trust is rare for animals to have with humans. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other topics that you would want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you and have an amazing day and take care. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn Learn more.